Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living Series, the Kingdom Bible Study Course Series, and the Kingdom Living Pocket Study Series. And today, I want to share with you about speaking in tongues. There seems to be a great battle that the devil is put against Christians and praying in tongues, and that's because praying in tongues is one of our most important weapons that we have. If you notice in the armor of God that the only weapon that is um, offensive, the the defensive weapons, they, uh, the whole armor that you put on, it all protects you, but the only one that you go after the devil with is this praying in the spirit, which is praying in tongues. It talks about in Ephesians, and that is the sword of the spirit praying in, in tongues. So, um, I want to go over Jude 1, verse 20. Uh, the verse above it, 18 and 19, is talking about sensuous persons and mockers in the last time who uh, walk according to their lust. These are sensuous persons who cause divisions, not having the spirit. Okay, so the Holy Spirit is the key. And then it says, but you, beloved, build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourself in the love of God, looking for the mercy of the of the Lord Jesus Christ into eternal life. And then it goes on to say, make a distinction and have compassion on some of them. Um, with fear, pull them out of the fire. In other words, hell. Hating even the garments defiled by the flesh. Um, then, uh, okay, so what I want to go over today is, but you build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, tongues, how do you pray in the Holy Spirit? Well, if you pray in English, you're praying in English. If, if you pray in the Spirit, you're praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit is praying a language that you don't understand. It's not using your physical body, your physical mind to understand anything. It's praying in the Spirit. It's supernatural. It's a spirit realm. It's things that you do not understand. But it's understand in the Spirit realm. It's understand by the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the one doing the praying. He's just using your mouth to pray through. And when you pray in the Holy Spirit and in tongues, you're praying God's perfect will. The Bible says when you pray in the Spirit, you're praying to God, you're praying the Word, and that's God's perfect will. So it's very important to pray in the Spirit. Now you might want to make note of a couple things. One, when you're praying in the Spirit, you're praying God's perfect will. When you're praying in the Spirit, you're it's the Holy Spirit praying. So your mind has nothing to do with it. Your understanding has nothing to do with it. Number three, praying in the Spirit is, an, is a weapon that you use to attack the devil, and he is very hard coming against tongues and saying it's not for you, it's not for today, uh, it's of the devil, and so on. Number four, when you pray in the Holy Spirit, your uh, faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God. So when you're praying in the Spirit, you're praying the Word, you're hearing the Word in your spirit, and it's building up your faith. So that's a very important issue. Uh, build yourself up on your most holy faith. So when you're praying in the Spirit, what are you doing? You're building yourself up in the faith because you're praying God's perfect will. God's perfect will is His Word. It's the Holy Spirit praying through you, praying God's perfect will, building up your faith. And it also keeps you in, in the love of God. So. It's a really, really awesome scripture to dig into, to grab a hold of, and to realize that the new covenant is all about the Holy Spirit in you, which seals you, which is your guarantee, which is your teacher, which is your helper. Very important. That's the new covenant. The old covenant is a totally different thing. So that's it for today. My name is Robin Bremer. Check out my website, robinbremer.net. Subscribe to me in iTunes or my website, robinbremer.net. You have a blessed day, and I pray that you get a hold of the Holy Spirit, spend time praying in tongues, and walking in the supernatural presence of God and experiencing the Bible. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good day.